Hello friends, I'm Carrie Ann with Salty and Bright, and we're continuing our series on the I Am Statements of Jesus. In John chapter 15, verse 1, it states, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. And then in verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me, ye can do nothing. So we have three characters in this I am statement. Jesus is expressing that he is the vine, that our Heavenly Father is a husbandman, and we are the branches. Jesus would use terminology or analogies based on what was popular in his time. And making wine was popular back then, and so it was easy for him to use uh, the example of the vine. Here he's explaining that without him we can do nothing because the branches of the grape vine would come from that main vine. And then the husbandman, which is the, our Heavenly Father, he's basically the one who prunes the vine. If you're familiar with gardening, or farming, sometimes you have to trim away the dead leaves, dead branches to encourage the other branches to thrive and grow. And sometimes you can graft from another tree or from another vine into the main vine in this situation. When I was growing up, my grandfather had a tree in the very front of our yard and half of the tree was grapefruit, and the other half was tangerine. So there were two different trees growing from one trunk. That happened because he grafted the tangerine branch onto the grapefruit tree, and then it grew from it, and it was able to bear its own fruit. So here, that's just an example of how two different citrus fruit can come together and be grafted together. Now, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we become joint heirs with Jesus. Our Heavenly Father adopts us into his family, and in essence, we get grafted into his kingdom, just like the tangerine tree got grafted onto the grapefruit tree. The purpose of being grafted or being adopted is so that we can bear much fruit. Not only does God want us to have a relationship with him, he also wants us to bear fruit. What does that look like? What does that even mean? See, we were commissioned by Jesus to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And we're also to make disciples of Christ. So we basically would set the example of how others are supposed to live as we follow Jesus. The purpose for all of this, or the need for all of this, is that when sin entered the world, we were separated from God. And so Jesus came so that we could be redeemed back to the Father. We could be then grafted in to the family. The gospel explains that God demonstrated his love to us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice. He was the only perfect person on this earth worthy to be a sacrifice for our sins. And so we're able to then be a part of God's family and reap the benefits of being a joint heir with Christ. I encourage you, choose Jesus today. Thanks, friends.